So I'm out here at Harding Truck Trail. We just had a bunch of snow come in. <laughs> so I'm bringing my skis up. Let's see if this works. <laughs> the true test is gonna be getting up this grade. It's working. I can pedal up. Oh, so much weight. Oh no, mud. It's actually surprisingly stable. It's just really heavy. And it's quite muddy. I'm hoping there's enough snow to skin. <laughs> I don't know if there will be. I'm hoping by at least uh, four corners, I can drop the bike and start skinning. Ah, juicy. I got skis. I'm going skiing. At least that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's been enough snow. I don't think there will be, but I got them. I got my skis just in case there is. I think I see a couloir I can ski. Let's do it. So this is the setup. It's a Norco Search XR gravel bike. I've got a rack. I've got panniers with the boots in them. That's about it. That's the rig. Oh, that's new. Look at that. I can start to see Majestica Peak. It's looking covered. That's cool. I might be able to skin. <laughs> this is where it's going to get interesting. Not enough snow to skin, and but enough snow that makes the biking a little challenging. Let's see what I'm at. I'm at 2,700. Almost 2,800. I'm at the point where my tires are slipping. I'm kind of spinning in place a little bit. I'm kind of conflicted. Do I put my skis on now? I know I go down a little bit. Yeah, I'm at 3,100 feet. I think this is the spot. <laughs> this is where I transition. It's really hard to bike. <laughs> it's like 3,200 feet. I'm using my old setup. This is old and heavy. I might be banging them up on rocks. So if I mess up this setup, that's okay. They're, they're real heavy, but, and they're, they're skinny, but they're now going to be my rock skis. <laughs> Stash the bike, should be good in this, in these bushes. Can't even see it from the road at all. Okay, good. I'm at 3150. <laughs> we got over 2000 feet vertical to go. Definitely possible to ski out here. Not a bad view. Skiing in Southern California. Orange County nonetheless. Probably at 3,500 feet. I could have brought my ultralight alpine touring set up. There's no risk of damaging them enough snow. So I brought these old 75 millimeter underfoot skis because I thought I was going to be bashing them up on rocks. But I need my powder skis. I'm ripping skins here at about 4,100 feet, 4,200 feet. I just kind of want to see what it's like to ski this. Well, I'm skiing at 4,100 feet.
I'm skinning again. I'm approaching four corners. It's glorious. Wow, someone's up here already. Looks like they hiked up. Wow. I'm hiking up to Majeska. This is the single track that comes off its shoulder and reaches four corners. It's kind of cool to get off the road. Oh, it's a little tight there. I was hoping I'd be able to ski down this, but not if it's like this. I'm kind of regretting the decision to come up this trail. I'm on Majeska's shoulder, and this is one of my favorite single tracks. <laughs> so I'm gonna ski down it. I'm gonna leave my little pannier here. And hopefully my bindings are working out for me here. I kind of just popped out unexpectedly. Yeah, see, shoot. Oh no, I should have brought my regular setup. That's not good. That's just with a little forward pressure. Whatever, let's just not put too much forward pressure. Yeah. And coverage is really thin, so I'll just keep it slow. Ho oh, ho, ski in the Santa Anas. With uh, bindings that aren't really working out. That's so much faster on a mountain bike. Yeah! Ski on the Santa Anas! Look at Majeska Peak. Glorious! Just straight line it. Practice my plow technique. Whoa! Whoa. I don't have confidence in these skis because the bindings are popping out. Oh. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean by the, uh, the bindings. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, no turns today. It'll work for the fire roads, but that's about it. And, you know, straight lining down. Time to go back up. Man, I really should have brought my regular setup so I could have ripped this. That was so cool. I got my bag and I'm heading back up to Summit Mojeska Peak. Here we go. Oh no, an impasse. What am I going to do? This is what I'm going to do. Chuck the skis over and crawl over. What else is there to do? Hopefully I don't have to do that again. That was obnoxious. Could have just stayed on the road. But no. I had to go check out the single track. I'm not bushwhack biking, I'm bushwhack skiing. What the hell? Oh. This is the fire road that takes you up to Majeska. Oh, so much better. Let's not do the single tracks, they're just too, too hard to navigate. Okay. Jessica Peak, Summit, 
It's not a party. Where's everybody? It's a pow day. Unfortunately, it's a little cloudy. Can't see much. That's too bad. It's about one o'clock. It's pretty cold. I think this might be it for me. I was hoping to do Santiago as well. But I'm a little pooped. This sandwich is delicious. Mm. All right, let's do this. Let's ski off the top of Majesca Peak. better. These are really straight, narrow. There's the skin track. Oh man. It's too bad we can't see anything. Yeah baby! Woohoo! Ski in the main divide. Peak, Majeska Peak, plus the shoulder. The peak is actually obscured by clouds. I made it to the promised land. That flat zone was so annoying. Woohoo! Yeah! Look at that! See all the way down to the green hills below. You can see the ocean. You can see Irvine. You can see everything. Whoa, rocks. Focus. Look at the ground. We're skiing in the Santa Ana's. Yo! How's it going? Alright, man. Okay, now I'm glad I brought my old skis. All I need is just a couple inches and I can float on top. But I might be walking soon, it's getting pretty bad. Yeah, I think this is the spot I walk back to the bike. It's uh, not worth ruining these skis, even though they're old. Let's see, let's see the damage. what I do? Ah, not bad. This is where I ditched my bike. It's right over there. Crazy, I, this was all snow covered in the morning. You! Let's do this! Oh, that was a juicy one. 
I got skis on my back. Oh, juicy.